Let's get started and learn how to convert percentages to decimals. And if we have time, maybe we'll also learn how to convert decimals into percentages. So let's get started with uh, what I think is a problem you probably already know how to do. If I said I have 50%, 50%. I don't know if I wanted to write that thick, but we'll go with it. Actually, let me change it to a thinner one. And I want to turn that into a decimal. Well, you probably already have a sense of what a uh, decimal represents 50%. Uh, if I told you we're, we're having a sale and it's 50% off, you know that's roughly half off. Or another way with how do you say half as a decimal? Well, that's the same thing as point, let's say 0 0.5. So you might have known that in your head, but how would we, um, is there a system for being able to convert this 50% to 0.5? Well, it turns out it, it's, it's pretty straightforward. All you do is you say, Whatever percentage it is, that's the same thing as the number over 100, right? And 50 over 100 is the same thing as 5 over 10, or 0.5. Now, even a simpler way of converting percentage to decimals, and this I think you're going to realize converting a percentage to a decimal or the other way around, um, you, you can pretty much do in your head, is if I say, Let's say 50, and I'm just going to add one decimal of accuracy here just to show you a point. 50%, right? If I want to convert that 50% into a decimal, all I do is I get rid of the percent sign. So I'll do it here. 50%. I get rid of the percent sign, and I take the decimal point, and I move it over two spaces to the left. So I say 1, 2. So this is where the new decimal is. So this equals point, we could say 0 0.500. So 50% is equal to 0 0.500. And of course, these last two zeros really don't mean anything um, for our purposes. So we'll get rid of them. So that's the same thing as 0 0.5, or just 0 0.5. 50% equals 0.5. So you're probably saying, well, sure, that looks easy, but what if the problem gets a little harder? 50% I could have done in my head. So let, let's try some, I would say, slightly harder problems. If I were to tell you that, let's say, 16.32%. Well, let's just do it the way I just showed you. We can get, well, I'll rewrite it down here, 16.332% percent. So if we get rid of the percent sign, scratch it out, we just have to move the decimal over two spaces to the left. So one, two. This is the new place for the decimal. That decimal goes away. So it's point one six three two is equal to sixteen point three two percent. I think you might be getting the idea now. Let me do another one in green. Let's say I had, and this one actually confuses a lot of people. Let's say I had 0 0.25%. So the important thing to remember is, just let me, I'll rewrite it here, 0 0.25, and maybe I'll write 0, 0 0.25. And you might probably wondering why I'm doing this, but I think you'll see in a second why I wrote that, that leading zero there, even though it doesn't seem to add much to it. 0.025%. Zero, zero well, just what's the system I just showed you? You get rid of the percent sign, and you move the decimal over one, two spaces. So that equals 0 0.0025. Zero, so 0.25% is equal to 0 0.0025. And you could put a leading zero here. If you want, some people. It's actually I should probably tell you to always do that because it makes it easier to read. So 0.25 percent is equal to 0 0.0025, and I want to just contrast that with 25 percent. 25 percent. What do you think that equals? Well, you do the same thing that we've been doing. You get rid of the percent sign, and you move the decimal space. In this case, actually, let me leave that there. I'll just rewrite it here. 25%. And you're probably saying, where is the decimal in this? Well, the decimal is after the number, because 
that 25% is the same thing as 25.0%, right? So if we get rid of the percent sign, we move the decimal over two spaces to the left, and that equals 0.25 as a decimal, or 0.250, but we can ignore that last 0. So 25% equals 0.25, while 0.25% is equal to 0 0.0025. And I want you to maybe sit and think about how small of a number 0.25% is. Let's do a couple more, and maybe we'll convert going the other direction. If I were to say, let's say I have the decimal 0 0.01. And I wanted to convert that to a percent. Well, here we just do it the opposite. We could look, we could look at it uh, two ways. We could say, well, whatever number this is, we multiply it by 100 and add a percent sign. So if you say 0.01 times 100, and then we'll add a percent sign. So 0.01 times 100, well, that's just 1, right? You could do, do the math. And you have the percent sign, that equals 1%. Or an even easier way, when we go from a percent to a decimal, we move the decimal place over 2 to the left. So when we go from a decimal to a percent, we'll do the opposite. We move the decimal 2 to the right. So if we do that, if we let me just rewrite it, 0.01. If we just go 1, 2. The new decimal place is here. So I mean, I could just, if I get rid of that decimal, that's 0, 1, decimal, 0, 0, whatever. This, obviously, this leading 0 means nothing. So that's the same thing as 1.00, which is the same thing as 1. And, and does it make sense that moving the decimal space 2 to the right, that's really just the same thing as multiplying it by 100, right? If I multiply by something by 10, it's like moving the decimal space 1 to the right. If I divide something by 10, it's like moving something, moving the decimal space 1 to the left. Let's do a couple more while I have time. I think I have three more minutes. Let's say I had 1.25. And I wanted to convert 25, 1.25. I want to convert that to a percent. Well, the easiest way is just to take, I'll rewrite it here, 1.25. Take the decimal point and move it 2 to the right. It's here. So that equals, and then I'll add a percent. So that equals 125%. And if you think about it the way people talk about percent, it makes sense. If I told you that I'm going to pay 1.25 times um, the price of something, that makes sense that that's also I'm going to pay 125% of the price. Or if it doesn't make sense, hopefully if you, if you do these problems enough, it will start to make sense. Let's do a couple of more. And you can go back and pause this if you think I'm going too fast, which I might be doing. Let me do, if I were to say, hmm, let me think. If I were to say point zero zero three. And I want to write this as a percent. Well, once again, we can move the decimal space 2 to the right. So 1, 2. And that's analogous to multiplying it by 100. So if we multiply the decimal 2 to the right, we get 0, 0, decimal point 3, and then we add the percent. These don't, this, at least this first leading 0 doesn't mean anything, so that's the same thing as 0 0.3. So the important thing to realize is when, you, when you're converting from a percent to a decimal or a decimal to a percent, you're really just moving where that decimal point is. And if, if you run out of spaces, you just have to add or uh, get rid of zeros accordingly. And, and, and the important thing to always have in your mind is when I convert from a decimal to a percent, the number in front of the percent sign is going to get bigger. And when I go from a percent sign to a decimal, I'm going to get a smaller number. Like, if I say 25%, that's the same thing as 0.25, right? So this is a percent, and this is a decimal, right? So I went from a bigger number, 25, to a smaller number, 0.25. 25% is equal to 0.25. Similarly, if I had a decimal, let's say 0.1, 
When I convert it to a percentage, it's going to be a larger percentage. So 0.1 is the same thing as 10%. And how did I do that again? Well, I said 0.1. I added an extra 0 because I'm going to have to move the decimal space over to the right twice. So I go 1, 2, and I get a 10, 10%. Uh, hopefully, that answers all your questions for now. Have fun.